Good morning, Keitha. Well, a doctor here at Memorial Hospital says that people are still delaying treatment, which is really not good, especially when it comes to your heart. He gave the example of one patient who waited until they were hospitalized, then had a procedure that they needed. But he's also trying to get the word out about something else that has nothing to do with the pandemic. It's all about your smartphone. It's a question you don't expect from your doctor. Honestly, I'm starting to ask people, what kind of iPhone is that? <laughs> yup, Dr. Nicholas Mondalikis wants to know what's in your pocket, why your phone could interfere with your pacemaker or defibrillator if you have one. So where you see the white lollipop is where the magnets are. You really don't want an individual unknowingly putting a magnet over their defibrillator because, because they could die. The Heart Rhythm Society just published a study in which they say an iPhone 12 suspended a defibrillator. And Apple now has a warning published about this on its website. When you see the Heart Rhythm Society coming out with a warning. That's unusual for Heart Rhythm Society to have a warning about consumer product. Mandolicus says there's heightened concern about this among doctors now. Among patients, he's been getting a common question about the COVID-19 vaccine. Heart patients typically are on blood thinners. We sent out a message that you can have a vaccine injection without stopping. Anywhere between 500,000 and 3 million people in the U.S. have pacemakers, according to the National Institutes of Health. Now, we talked a little bit about that delaying treatment part in the beginning here. We're going to get more into that, though, coming up in the next half hour. I'm Renato DiGregorio, live outside Memorial Hospital. First Coast News on your side.